I love this country. Your misconception of peace makes you Hello? Hello. Good evening. This is Ryan of Leaf Pal Radio TV. Am I speaking with uh, Britain Church? That's me, man. How you doing? You are the lead vocalist of a band known as Texas 223? That is correct. Okay, good to hear from you. All right, when did uh, Texas 223 first get started? Texas 223 first got started in 2015, just kind of riding a little bit, just kind of starting the, the very beginning formation of the band. So that would be me, Britton Church, the singer, and the guitar player, Chad Russell. My bass player is Colton Lambert. And then my drummer is a guy named Benjamin Villalobos, he goes by Ben. Whereabouts from Texas do you guys rain from? We're up here in the Panhandle, man. We're over here in West Texas, which is like it's two hours south of Amarillo. I don't know if a lot of people have heard of Amarillo because it's off of I-40 up there. We're about two hours south of that, so right up here in the Panhandle. Now, uh, what kind of sound is Texas 223? Texas 223, the sound is uh, Texas metal and like Texas also hard rock, you know what I mean? So we got kind of met to our stuff, very radio friendly, so, but it's also deeply rooted in metal. Uh, we really like, like, put that a lot in our music. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit curious about the name. Uh, the text is part of, yeah, but the 223, is that like an area code, or? That's funny, because everybody has that same question, man. Uh, no, 223, we put that there because of the bullet caliber for an AR-15 rifle. So we want to show oh. the military, we want to, you know, yeah, the Texas, and uh, be able to put guns and all that in our artwork, and, uh, you know, our representation, and just like our overall show and appearance. Oh, okay, that's really cool. I never even thought of that. Okay. <laughs> Your songwriting process. How many EPs or albums have you guys put out so far? So far, we've only uh, done one full album. And uh, Colton just pulled up. I think he's about to jump the car too. Something on the interview. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so the first record, uh, we just released in March. It's our debut record, self-titled Texas 223 record. Just trying to push that and play and tour as much as possible. That album, is it put out on an indie label or something more major? No, so we are completely 100% independent right now. So we uh, we love to hear from somebody if they, if they believe in us. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good news. So, have you been touring right now for it? I mean, you know, within the state of Texas as well as neighboring states? Yes, and so that is, that is correct. So, we just went into Oklahoma. That was our first out of state show. We played one in Oklahoma City with some of our boys in Renick and Show out of uh, Abilene, Texas, and then Chow out of Chicago. And uh, and and uh, one more band. What was that other? Oh, uh, Crush Point out of Dallas. And uh, so we did that, we competed in Lacken for a little bit, and it kind of got us a lot of connections in that, in that battle of the bands because we won a couple rounds. And so we've been really hitting Texas pretty hard, but and trying to get into neighboring states. And I think we're going to try to make it into the Midwest coming here pretty soon, maybe up into, you know, through like, uh, you know, Oklahoma again, and then maybe like Kansas, up into Chicago, and then up into Detroit, maybe like the machine shop, try to get something going up there. And, and possibly what he's going to do. And uh, writing your songs, what kind of like, uh, what kind of ideas pop in your head? Mainly we go, like what drives the band is just like heart and soul. So like, we, we play like, you know, from our heart first, and you know, something that we really feel emotionally on a musical level. And then we go from there, and it'll, you know, there's a million different ways, whether it's a riff, whether it's a lyric, uh, you know, there can be like a few different things that we'll just kind of go from there and uh, we'll kind of communicate as a band, me and Chad, mainly do most of the writing and then like, you know, because Colton and, and Benjamin came on after the first record, so 
Uh, but now with like the new process, you know, we bring them in too. And what we like to do is after we kind of come up with a pretty good idea, personally, we'll go into the studio and just scratch some stuff out. And then uh, sometimes it'll happen right then, it comes to us real quickly. And sometimes we're like, man, let's take this to the, you know, the woodshed and really chop this thing out with the rest of the boys and like really get everybody's opinion and influence on it and just kind of wing it, you know, and just kind of, you know, and just go from there. What kind of musical influence is, what kind of influence the sound of Texas that you've heard for the years? Me, personally, I would say, you know, Pantera, Mudvayne, Killswitch Engage, uh, Hell Yeah, you know, stuff up, you know, along those routes, like Metallica, obviously, Megadeth, uh, like all, all that pull from my Valentine, Godsmack, as well as a lot of rock too, man. I like I like a lot of rock too. What, what do you think, Colby? Did you say about the box? I'd have to have been some fold in there personally. It's something I grew up learning that definitely influenced my sound. But I think that's the only other one I got in, probably because it's all stuff I grew up on. Yeah, Benjamin, I think, really likes Spirit Factory. And yeah. he's all about Spirit Factory. And Chad, he likes Dream Theater and John Petrucci a lot, too. So, I mean, he kind of just a lot of different metal styles kind of over together. That's good. That's good. There he is. What else, Chad? In the meantime, um, guys, what would Texas 223 do for a Klondike bar? Now, it has to be something extremely deranged. Oh, yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, we have the chainsaw, chop someone up. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's close to the bus. Good point. We'll chop the shit up with the chainsaw. But anyway, uh, all right, uh, apart from that, let's see. Uh, oh, well, now, what's the craziest, most off the wall, bizarre situation that has happened at one of your shows live so far? Uh, well, uh, it's all out through it down here. We got into it like a scrap. Fan on fan fist fight with other fans. We've had to fight like door guys and stuff. You know, like, we're just, you know, we're really easy going at the same time. Uh, we're not, we're not going to take no shit or anything like that. So that's probably the craziest time was whenever it was like that, fan. <laughs> Pretty great stuff. We also love, like, you know, a lot of Texas metal, too, so Drowning Pool is a Texas metal band, and we currently cover center from Drowning Pool. Uh, yeah, would you, like, uh, ever do a cover of a Pantera song, say, uh, be uh, driven by demons? Oh, that'd be the shit. I'd love to do that. <laughs> I'd love to hear you guys do that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there, man. So, yeah, I know for sure. I'm going to jot that down. I'll bring it up. So, any future plans to be on touring? And uh, what are the long term goals for Texas 223? Well, like, long term, like, you know, we, we want, like, you know, like, we love to do this. Like, this is what we live every day. We want to be a successful. Worldwide touring band, you know, breaking, you know, billboards and charts, man. Like that, that's really what like drives me is uh, just connecting with people out there through our music and uh, just, you know, as a successful band. And like short term, we're just trying to play with as many uh, badass bands and festivals and shows as possible and just, you know, trying to break out there as much as possible in as many places. There you go. Places and and uh, it's just, you know, just trying to do it all, man. So that, that's kind of short term right there. We're just trying to play as much Sweet. as possible. Sweet. Now, um, okay, uh, you spoke earlier about, uh, like, uh, doing the fighting, you know, right, doing the battle of bands for the Wacken, you know, a spot in Wacken, right? And you were, so did that, you know, help you in any way, shape, or form of getting, like, uh, contacts within the industry? of any sort or like are you talking to anybody right now to get a deal? Uh Lacking uh, definitely gave us a lot of contact just with like the bands that are like actually in the scene in Texas and like you know we won in Dallas and so uh, the first round is like I think six rounds in Texas and so like the winners of each round like two bands of each round get to go to the final and so like we met 
a lot of bands who are really great in the scene. I mean, it's like so crazy. The underground artist that we've got here that I've never even heard of. So we made a lot of connections that way. And then obviously, you know, the bars that we played at, uh, and we met promoters and that we dabbled with, you know, some that, that didn't go very good, some that did, but it really helped us break out and tour uh, statewide. Oh. And uh, and that's really the big thing. Yeah, they're pretty interested. Uh, we're still kind of talking it over as a band. We don't know what we're going to do right now. Now, uh, as for gear, um, what kind of guitars do you, yourself, and uh, Chad use, as well as Andrews? Uh, we, we go Mesa Boogie, and then um, guitars, ESP, and Jackson, and uh, I also have a custom shop, Carbon. And Chad, you know, what else do you play, Bolton? Well, I've got my Carbon bass. And then the Ibanez bass, so I'm just here I carry on the road. Uh, as far as my setup, I'm running 8 by 10 cab and like 600 watts. Both pipe strings, that's pretty necessary for being down and drop see where we're at. Yeah, I got you. Alright, thank you. Yeah, now uh, as for the drummer, what's his setup? Man, I couldn't answer that, but know what his kit is. We're going to wrap it up for now. Probably we won't call it back tonight. And we'll make a call back in a week or two, all right? Man, we appreciate you guys. Yep, thank you. And thanks the rest to Texas 223. Thank you, Ben Colson and Fright for coming in. See you guys soon. Yep. This is Ryan of At The Top, Leaf Pal Radio TV. Hello folks, out there, this is Ryan of At The Top, right, uh, Leaf Palo Radio TV. This, in my hand, in my left hand that is, is, you know, the Leaf himself did a stool sample and brought it and left it lying on, you know, sitting on our table here through our, you know, beginning segments of At The Top. Now, as a giveaway, I want you folks to watch every aspect of that at the top segments, at least any segment that Leaf chops them down at, right? And then describe to Leaf your the best parts and what is missing, right, from my wardrobe at times and what's not missing and what's you know possibly been changed of the table that's you know in front of me besides me picking up the stool sample. Now, right, what you will win is said, you know, Leaf himself, his stool sample, right, right here in his jug, your jug, right, right, yeah, he's resting for the journey ahead, right, of possibly adding, you know, more to this jug of stool, yeah, give it, you know, give that some thought. I don't know how he gets it in there. I don't want to know. And yeah, he's trying to cover up the ordeal. But no, there he is. Now, describe to us the favorite things about right your leaf pile, what you love about leaf pile, and every show from spam and toast you know segments to the you know newly at the top segments. Describe and uh, I. Ten sentence paragraph, please, and send them straight on to like uh, Leaf Pile Radio TV, right online, or onto the Leaf Pile Facebook page. All right, I'll let Leaf himself edit in, you know, any of the uh, well addresses, whatnot, online addresses in that case, as well as describe what you felt best, right about other Leaf Pile characters of the past, such as Eggs, you know, you know, Eggs Benedict Carey, as well as the amazing Johnny Time Warp, and about what you like best in those ancient shows of Leaf Pile, right? And what, and to also describe what bands and who were like the, well, bizarre buddies of us, 
all right, in the past. All right, so go ahead and do that, and you will leave when Leaf's still sample, as well as possibly Leaf himself. Okay, this is Ryan of Leaf Pile Radio TV at the top, signing.